All right, another video in our series of videos on DVOM usage. I want to talk about this meter here. Um, now, this meter is definitely nothing special. It's a fairly cheap DVOM. There's, there's not much to it, but the one feature that it has that's, oh, I don't know if you'd say old fashioned, but it certainly makes it a, a more inexpensive meter, and this is something that is common to the inexpensive meters, is that this is a manually ranging meter. Now what that means is you have to, as you are using this meter, you have to have a general idea as to how much voltage you are going to be measuring or how much um, resistance you are going to be looking at. This meter will measure amperage, but it only measures a tiny, tiny bit. If you look at our our amperage setting way down here, you can see it shows 200 m, 200 milliamps. It won't go over 200 milliamps. That makes it less useful. Um, there's still some things you can do with that, but not much. If you look at our our ports for our leads down here, you can see there's only three because we only have up to 200 milliamps, and that's it. There's no 10 amp scale. There's no 10 amp selection. But anyway, back to manual ranging. The range is a range for our voltage. So we have to know approximately how much voltage we are looking to measure. So I, I plug the leads in down there. Um, let's go with our, our DC volts. So over here we've got one, two, three, four, four different selections for DC volts. Now the numbers 220, 200, and 600, that relates to the range um, that you're, you're reading. If you are reading something less than 2 volts and you know it's going to be less than 2 volts then you would want to select the 2 volt scale. Okay. If you are reading something that is between 2 volts and 20 volts you would use the 20 volt scale. If you want to read something between 20 volts and 200 volts use the 200 volt scale and if you're reading something between 200 volts and 600 volts, then you would use the 600 volt scale. Now down here between our leads, let me see if I can unplug this, you'll see it says max 600 volts. Okay, so that's as, that's as high as we can go. And that's, that applies to the AC scale and the DC scale. So you look over here, you can see over here on AC, we're at 600 volts. Now for most of the stuff we're doing on a car, we've got 12 volts of DC, right, from the battery, somewhere in that neighborhood. The charging system's running and we may have 14 and a half volts or so. So for most of the stuff that we're doing on a car, the 20 volt scale is what we want. That's where we're gonna go. Now, now I want you to look at, the, look at our display here. Every time I switch, I move the, the selector switch, watch what the decimal does. So we're, we're at the two volt scale now, okay? Now we go up to the 20 volt scale. Now we're on the 20 volt scale, the decimal moved. We switch up to the 200 volt scale, the decimal moved. We switch up to the 600 volt scale and the decimal completely went away. Uh, basically what happens is, as we move up each scale, we end up losing a decimal place to the right of the decimal. Till eventually we get to this point here on the 600 volt scale where there is no decimal. The reason for that is if you're looking at, say, you're, you're in the two volt scale, okay? Well, it might be important to know that what we're dealing with or the amount of voltage on a circuit is, you know, 1.832. That 0.832 becomes important because, you know, maybe you're looking at something and if your voltage is anything over, you know, 1.45, then you've got an issue. So you want to see more detail to the right of the decimal. But as you go up higher and higher, you know, on the 20 volt scale, if you're looking at something that's 15.5 volts, that might be good enough, 15.5. Um, 15.537, we don't care about that. All we care about is the 15.5 the or, you know, 15.53 or something. We don't care about that, that place value all the way to the right. When we go up to the 200 volt scale, okay, we lose a decimal again. We don't care what's to the right of the decimal so much because we're getting into high voltage. When we get up to 600 volts, then we really don't care. If it's 600.378, who cares? It's 600 volts, okay? It's gonna knock you on your butt if you touch it. All we care about is 
the, the high voltage. So you have to have an idea as to how much voltage you are, are, are looking at, but um, it's pretty easy, you know, especially in the automotive world because you're primarily going to be using the 20 volt scale. Now, if you do much with hybrid vehicles, for example, and you, you end up measuring high voltages, which sometimes you might have to do on a high voltage battery with a DVOM, the higher voltage scales matter at that point. But most of the time, the 20 volt scale is gonna be all that you need. On other manually ranging meters such as this, the scales might not be identical. They might be something different. Uh, 20 volt scale is pretty common, uh, but two volt, 200, 600 volt, um, those could be anything. Um, so it, it depends on it depends on the meter that you're using. Now you'll notice over here on the, the ohm meter we have the same kind of thing going on. With the ohm meter we've got these different scales. So we start out at 2000 ohms. Almost, well I shouldn't say all, but, but quite often that's where you're going to start with a manually ranging meter when you're measuring ohms. It's 2000 ohms. Um, there, were, there are some components that you might be measuring resistance of that would have more than that. If they have more than that, then you're going to want to, you're going to, want to turn that up. So, let's go back to volts. I'm going to go to the 20 volt scale, and I am going to, I'm going to hook up our leads to our little battery that we've got sitting here. I get that clamp on around there, okay. The negative and the positive. When we come back and we look here. Okay, we've got 12.57 volts. So let's first try moving the mode selector up to watch what the decimal does and watch how that number changes. Okay, it was 12.57, now it says 12.6. Well, 0.57 is closer to 6 than it is to 0.5, so the meter rounded up. If we switch up to the 600 volt scale, now it's got 13 volts because 12.6 is closer to 13 than it is to 12. So you see how the, the number rounds up. That's not very accurate down at this scale. 13 volts, if we were measuring battery voltage and it's, we, all we ever saw was 13 volts, we would think, well, that battery's, that battery's a little bit weird. The highest the battery should be is, uh, you know, without surface charge and there's other factors, but highest ba a fully charged battery is 12.6, not 13. So we go back, we get our detail back. We get even more detail back. Watch what happens when we go down to the 2 volt scale. Okay, now we've just got this one point blank. What that means is on this meter, that means we're in the wrong range. That means we need to move up a range and see if we can, can take our measurement. Because we're over 2 volts, right? We're, you know, 12.5 volts is more than 2. So the meter can't read more than 2 volts when we're in the 2 volt scale. It's as simple as that. So manually ranging meter actually works just fine. There's, there's nothing wrong with it. They're, they tend to be a little more inexpensive, but uh, this particular meter here, it's not, it's not too bad of a meter. It's, it's decent. It, it works fantastically for, for voltage and for, for measuring resistance. A um, little bit lacking when it comes to measuring current, but it works just fine. Just because it's manually ranging uh, does not necessarily mean that it's substandard or doesn't, isn't gonna work for you. But that's, that's the manually ranging meter.